So today we are going on a VIP tour of Unity Park. Special thanks to the big man himself. Uh, it's a short time though, so we have to be fast. But the first step is the kids playground. Check it out, guys. Like, oh. A tour of Unity Park in the center of Addis Ababa. Uh, we're having a fast VIP tour. Beautiful grounds, nice sunny day. You can see a lot, there's a lot going on. So I'm going to try and share with you some of the best bits. Apparently, it takes four hours to walk around, but we got a tight, tight schedule today because we're going to some other parks too. So I'll just try and share the best bits. Check it out. Hope you enjoy. E-T-H-I-O-P-I-A I'm telling to Ethiopia, are you headed my way? E-T-H-I-O-P-I-A We headed to Ethiopia, King Selassie Highway We got to take a ride up on the King's Highway Which born to you need that a shasha money The land is very green, but I'm Arangwade And there's enough land for everybody Above all, I must confess One of the old palaces we are going in because we are VIP. Come on, Darren. Come on, Darren. Everybody go. Go, go. And that is the famous uh, prayer room as well as office of the emperor. Uh, it's... Uh, also known as the egg house or the, mm. the Inkular gates, the egg house, because of the shape of uh, the door. Okay, at that time, uh, the Ethiopians do not know this kind of uh, building. So, in the, in the Western literature, we have also this uh, uh, I mean, uh, description of the egg house. Okay, why the do whole, they call it the egg house because of the shape of uh, the okay. Let's see why it's called the egg house. With the dome on the top. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Next step is upstairs in the Unkalal house. The original steps. Feel it in my legs from yesterday. It's more pensive and ethereal, is it? Real. This is the throne house. A lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
gracias. I'm joking, I'm a Republican. <laughs> This is the dark side of Ethiopian history. This is the basement of the Imperial Palace. But during His Majesty's time was a wine cellar. After he was deposed, it became a torture dungeon. Of the Berlin regime, as documented here. So, this whole cellar was a prison. This is the match where each prisoner's bed was. So basically, on one day, 60 of them were taken out of the prison and killed. That day was not a black Saturday. It's a dark time in the Ethiopian history. This was all. To the testimony of some of the people, some of the survivors. It's kind of an eerie feeling to it. All but part of history, you know. Many, many people were killed. Over half a million Ethiopians died during that period. That was Ethiopian genocide. He was killed too. Interesting timeline. How it all went down. The roots of the revolution there for the Derg and part of the military committee that took over power. The rejection of the constitution, the end of the monarchy, the rise of Heli Mahdi, the death of the emperor, the white terror, and then this whole period was the red terror. The banquet hall. Oh. Oh, during the reign of Emperor Menelik in 1878, 98. Look how old it must be. 200 years old. Absolutely massive. Find out what's going on. Wow. This is the final part of the Unity Park tour, which is the animal zoo. I'm not a big fan of animal zoos. I prefer to see them in the wild in their natural habitat. But I'm still going to share it with you guys so you can get a feel and you can decide whether you want to come or not. The first exhibit is meerkats. Let me show you. If you look carefully, on top of the rock, you'll see the little guys, King Julian from Madagascar. Meerkats. 
Chillin. They're just chilling. He's just a little bit bored. Chilling on top of the rocks. Like they're having fun. Meerkats, I think they are. Loads of them. Some brown, orange ones. Quite a big complex with quite a few different wild species. I didn't think my meerkats are endemic to East Asia. Maybe they are. Over here, there is peacocks. Peacocks definitely are. I've seen them before. Um, oh, some cheetahs. A tiny little pen. That's whack. I wish it was bigger for them. Still very, very beautiful though. They're chilling, they be chilling. Let's go and see what they're up to. This is mad. Being up close to these guys is crazy. They've only got a tiny little pen. Nowhere to run around with. It's whack. Not really bigger than that. They could do a lot better than that. Tiny little pen. Not really fair, is it? Poor little cheetahs. Another little tiny pen for the African wild dogs. They look a bit like hyenas, but they're not the African wild dogs. A couple of them. Spotted. Very, very spotted. There's only three of them. They don't have a lot of space. Poor little guys. If it gets better for you, up there. This is the lion pen. We've got four massive lions. Again, a tiny little pet. It's a bit sad. Must be boring for them. It's tiny. Not really loving that. Found the zebra. Kids in my marina. Hope they got a bigger pen. They look very big, they? a tiny pen to find out. The giraffes have got a tiny little pen as well. Four giraffes, big size, fully grown giraffes in a tiny little concrete pen. No, zebras have got quite a bit, but they share it with all the other animals. Like different deers and some water buffalo things, ostriches over there. Not a big fan. Some spring box, you can barely see them. Camouflage behind the trees. I think they're spring box. Something like that. Can't see it, so it's We've got another VIP guided tour quickly going on to Ethiopia's first and largest library. This is pretty cool. All of the different languages written on the pillars. I like that. It's not open yet to the general public, but you know, Jay Lennox loves Ethiopia, so he gets a lot of exclusive access. Share with you and show you Ethiopia's newest library and archive. Not open to the general public yet. But we're on a special VIP tour with the big man himself. And we're gonna, gonna see what it looks like eventually. This will be full of books. <laughs> I hope so. God will. And to finish the tour, friendship card. The beautiful mountains and beauty. Ooh la la. Ooh la la.
yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place 